Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are continuing on with our uh, Transformations IXL set and basically starting translations today uh, or at least how to perform them. So uh, these problems are pretty much all the same. They're just asking you to translate or slide your first initial shape, your pre-image, into a new shape. So the instructions for this one say to graph the image of the rectangle PQRS, right here, after a translation or slide of four units to the right. All right, so just do each point individually. We'll go one, two, three, four. All right, click. We'll go to Q and go one, two, three, four. Click, okay. S is one, two, three, four. Click. And P is one, two, three, four, click. Okay, so as you see here, um, IXL's interface is, is not as straightforward as you might want. Sometimes you end up with something like this. So all you're gonna have to do is switch the points over like that. Okay, make sure the shape actually resembles <laughs> the original shape. And there you go, we just slid our initial uh, pre-image, our rectangle over four units to the right. Good. Okay, graph the image of the square after translating three units to the left and four units down, okay? We'll go with you first. We'll go one, two, three to the left, and then one, two, three, four down. Click, and then we'll go back to T, and we'll go three units to the left, one, two, three, four units down, one, two, three, four. Then we will do W. We'll go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, click. And then you can either do the counting from V or you can just see that this uh, forms a square right here. Okay, and there you go. We just slid or translated our square. Okay, four units to the left and 10 units up. So we'll start with S and we'll go one, two, three, four, and then 10 units up right there. We'll go to T and go one, two, three, four, and then 10 units up. Okay, and then we'll go one, two, three, four, and 10 units up, which is going to be up here at seven. Okay, look at both triangles and kind of double check and make sure they look the same. And then we will click submit. Good, and that's basically all this IXL is. It just asks you to translate up, down, left, right. Keep in mind um, for homework and stuff, it's in the X direction, the Y direction, not left to right. Uh, that's the language you're gonna be seeing. But as we skip forward in this IXL, um, I mean, that's it. It already doesn't let me jump past a smart score of 43 because all the problems after this are the same. You're just translating either to the left or up or down to the right or two of each. Okay, that is where I'm going to end the video. Uh, study hard, take care, and see you for the next IXL tutorial. Goodbye.